Gbeje Ramila announces House Standing Committees. Betera, Falk, Bago, Namdas, Luke for Appropriations, Finance, African Integrations, Army, Federal Judiciary PDP's Chinda, Anenma, used youth shut out. Abuja Speaker of the House of Representatives, Hon. Femi Gbejabi Amila Thursday announced Chairman and Deputy Chairman of 102 Standing Committees of the House. Some of the members known to be allies to the Speaker clinched most significant committees. Mukhtar Batura who the chairmanship of the Committee on Appropriations and Han James Falk who was named Chairman for Finance. Hon. Abdul Razak Namdas who was the chairman, Committee on Media and Public Affairs in the 8th Assembly was named to head the Committee on Army. Similarly, Bejavi Amila's lone opponent in the speakership election, Hon. Mohamed Bago was named the chairman, Committee on Cooperation and African Integrations. Bago's former committee, Maritime, Safety and Education in the 8th Assembly is now being headed by Hon. Linda Kpizut, a staunch supporter of Gbe J.B. Amila. Committee on House Services was given to Hon. Wail Raji to head. Hon. Ophiak Luke, a former Speaker of Akwaibom State House of Assembly, a member of the opposition People's Democratic Party. PDP and first-timer to the House was named to head Committee on Federal Judiciary. Benjamin Kalwa from Abia State was named Chairman, House Committee on Media and Public Affairs just as Hon. Darlington Nakoko Ato from the state was named Chairman, Committee on Insurance. Hon. Nicholas Mutu of the PDP was named Chairman of Committee on Gas Resources. Hon. Tunji Ojo was named Chairman, Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, while Hon. Wolok heads Public Accounts Committee, PAC. Similarly, the Committee for Petroleum Resources, Upstream, is headed by Hon. Sakinator just as Hon. Victor Nicolo is heading Committee on Banking and Currency. Kingsley Chinda from River State and Hon. Chuck Wuma on Enma from Anambra State who were the candidates of the PDP from Minority Leader and Deputy Minority Leader were shut out of the committee portfolios. It will be recalled that in the 8th Assembly, Chinda chaired the Public Accounts Committee while on Enma was the Deputy Minority Leader. In the same vein, Honorable Tajuddin Yusuf of the PDP who headed Committee on Capital Markets in the 8th Assembly got nothing this time. He is a notable ally to China and die-hard PDP member. Against expectations that the Director General of the defunct Bejabi Amila, Waste Campaign Organization, Honorable Abdul Mumuni Jubral would be compensated handsomely, he was not named for either the Chairman or Deputy Chairman of any of the committee. Recall that he headed the Finance and the Appropriations Committees respectively in the 7th and 8th Assembly. But speculations were rife that he is being projected for the Director General position of a federal agency. Meanwhile, the House adjourned plenary for its annual vacation to resume on September 17, 2019. Briefing journalists at the end of the plenary, the Chairman, Committee on Media and Public Affairs pledged commitment of a good relationship between the House and media. We would like to work with you to help the public understand the workings of the National Assembly. I am aware that before joining the National Assembly, it was difficult for me to get to know the workings of the National Assembly. You are aware that there are so many misconceptions about the National Assembly. It is my duty and your duty to make sure that the public gets to know better. I want to assure you that my doors will be open. We are going to make your job as easy as possible to make sure you deliver and on our own part, we will deliver," he said.